Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm back with a new layout for Hip Kit Club and a new process video. And I'm using the 2019 March kits again. And my theme for today is to try to create a birthday themed layout. And this paper with all those little summery umbrellas or circles or however you want to call them, they just reminded me of a celebration. And I know this is a pool photo and I've scrapped a bazillion pool photos, but this one was actually taken on my daughter's sixth birthday. Gosh, she's 12 now, but her birthday fell on a Saturday that year. And so we spent the day swimming in the pool. That's one of her favorite things to do. And uh, we had her little birthday party later that evening. And so technically it's a birthday picture. So I'm gonna make it kind of summery and fun and festive all at the same time. So I haven't got to use this paper yet. I thought I would fussy cut out a lot of those circles and just sort of start to play around with the design here. I thought I would just kind of scatter them around the page. And if you see in the photo in the upper right hand corner, you can see the the, the rails to get out of the deep end of the pool. And I wanna cover that up. So I'm gonna cover it up with that big pink circle that says, this is the good life. And uh, yeah, because it's not really a big deal in the photo, but it's annoying me when I look at it. So I'm gonna cover it up. Now I just used some pro uh, pocket life cards and a piece of that Heidi Swap paper that I've used on every single one of my projects for this month. I'm still using that same sheet of paper. And I'm just going to layer it behind the photo here, as well as part of this exclusive floral frame that comes from the exclusive die cuts that Kim Watson designed that are gorgeous. And uh, I know I want to raise my photo up, so I'm going to use some adhesive foam underneath it there. And I kind of, um, I know I've said this a lot, but I like to use the, uh, the photo sort of as a guide as to how my design is going to start. And if you look at the photo, she is on the left side of the picture and she's looking toward the right. So I want to kind of have her on the left side of the photo. So it kind of looks like she's looking across or looking down and across the page. So you can kind of see there what I was talking about with that big circle. And it was vellum and so you could see through it. So I just glued it to some white paper so it would not be see-through and that way it would cover up the rails in the picture there. Now, this layout kind of goes up and down. It has some, eh, what is she doing type of moments. But I went ahead and glued down the circles and then I'm gonna do my mixed media over it. And part of me wishes I wouldn't have, but then part of me likes it. So you can be the judge and tell me what you think. I just like experimenting and trying different things. I'm gonna coat pretty much the whole background with some white gesso here. And this is gonna lighten up the colors in those circles. Uh, I didn't want them to be too bold, but I, I wanted to be able to add some color on top of them. So the when I first did this, I thought, I don't even know if I like this, but you know me, I'm gonna keep going and make it work. My main thing was I, I didn't want the bright colors to compete with the colors in the picture because obviously there's a lot of blue and then her little swim ring is bright pink and I thought it matched these papers perfectly so I'm going to try to pull from those same colors that I've got going on and I'm going to use some of the colors from the color kit and these are Lindy's Stamp Gang Starburst sprays I think and they're shimmery very very pretty I'm going to use the pink one and the blue one here and just use the packaging technique here to add some color and I'm going right on top of the circles. Part of me thought, eh, I probably should have done the mixed media first and then added the circles, but I kind of like how it looks. It's something different. It kind of makes the circles, you know, part of the background and it, the, the gesso on, on top of them kind of softens them up and makes them more part of the background instead of these big bright circles popping off the page. And like I said, it was an experiment. I just thought I would play around with it and see where it took me. Now, these uh, Lindy Stamp Gang sprays are very, very pretty. They're shimmery. They, uh, the nozzles splatter really, really well, like you just saw me doing there with the blue. And I'm just gonna keep going with the colors here. Now, I'm gonna add some yellow, and I'm gonna use one of the shimmers that we got a few color kits ago. That one is called Mustard Seed and it's really, really pretty, kind of a, a golden yellow. And I'm just gonna do the same thing here, add a little bit on the packaging, splatter a little bit of it around, and just make sure that the yellow is on there as well. Also like to use my brush 
and a little bit of water to help spread them around. Sometimes I'll just spray water directly onto the background and then tilt the paper around to kind of let the color run. But I didn't want to go too crazy with the colors on this one. I wanted to keep it kind of subtle, so I didn't add too much water. But I do keep adding color until I get it to the shade that I want. And I'm adding more pink around the photo since there's a lot of blue there. Here I go. I'm still adding. I need more blue, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes I lose track of time when I'm making a background, and I think that takes me the longest sometimes because I just want to keep going. And before I know it, I've, uh, you know, feel like I've done way too much. But I wanted to darken up some of those areas, so uh, I'm just going to keep going until I get it like I want it. And uh, I did add gesso in the beginning like we talked about, and the gesso is what allows all the color to blend and, and run like you see it here without it soaking right through the paper because uh, normally you know if you were to spray it directly onto the cardstock or the pattern paper it's going to soak right through and whatever shape it is when it lands on the paper that's the shape it's going to stay because it's going to soak right through the paper but the gesso kind of protects the paper and it allows the liquid to kind of run a little bit before it dries so you're able to kind of mix it up. So I decided to use one of the doilies. We got a couple of different sizes of little doilies in the color kit and I'm going to use the yellow spray, the mustard seed that I just used and color this one up and I thought I would add a little bit of gold to it. It really doesn't matter in the end. You can't see it but this is the minor minor 49er inklings from Shimmers that we got a couple months ago. Beautiful beautiful gold. And um, these doilies are really thin, so you want to be careful. They're very fragile and delicate when they're wet like this. So I uh, pulled out my heat gun there and dried it up. So I'm going to put that down on the bottom right area sort of as a base. And I had a pink one that I already sprayed with the Lindy spray, I think, last week. But I didn't wind up using it, so I that one was already done. But um, I'm going to kind of anchor my title on this yellow doily uh, to make it stand out a little bit more and plus that doily is going to bring some more yellow to the bottom area and my title is going to be sun-kissed birthday because I wanted to have the, the word birthday in my title so you would know that this was a birthday photo and I like the sun-kissed part because her birthday is uh, Labor Day weekend and in Florida that's still pretty much summer so sun the word sun-kissed just reminds me of summer and I thought that sun-kissed birthday would be a cute title and the sun-kissed came from the sunny days Maggie Holmes sticker sheet and I, I did add some darker um, aqua thread underneath there and some of my footage got hacked up I don't know what was going on with my camera today when I was filming this but hopefully you're seeing everything that uh, I'm doing because I was as I was putting this video together I noticed some of my footage got it was frozen and it was just like a black screen and I'm like where did that footage go I have no idea so the bulk of it is here but hopefully nothing too important is gone missing I did fussy cut a couple of butterflies from a pocket life card and then I'm gonna come in with my thread I added some of the golden yellow over to the right of the photo and then I'm gonna pull in that darker pink color underneath the picture kind of match that doily that I added behind the upper left area there and then that little pink camera above the word sunkissed is going to uh, kind of bring the color down there I did want to use some of the washi tape that we got in one of the kits and it's a really pretty shiny gold scalloped border but I wanted to tone down some of the gold brassiness so I'm just going to smudge just a little bit of white gesso on top of it and it's still going to be shiny gold it just tones it down a little bit and when you photograph it it looks a lot better to me I'm never able to photograph the really brassy gold stuff very well and it always winds up looking black and so I feel like when I add some gesso to it it softens it up and it, it's uh, easier to see when you look at it so I stuck it down to some paper first so now it's basically a border strip embellishment and uh, that's a great thing you can do with washi tape if you don't want to just stick it right down to your paper and here 
it would be kind of useless because I've got so much color and pattern and the gesso and the washi tape would just really not work very well. So I'm going to add a little bit underneath the picture there for just a little subtle detail. And then I'm going to cut it and make it thinner and add it here at the bottom underneath the word birthday. And I haven't glued down the thickers yet. I do have to go back and add glue here because I said this a bunch too. I have a problem with things sticking to gesso and mixed media things, and so I make sure I add glue. Now I'm just going to add a couple of little details here. I'm going to add that little crepe paper sticker that says take it easy, and then this little exclusive bright floral puffy sticker over to the right. And these are a full sheet of multicolored epoxy hearts. They're so, so cute. And I'm just playing around with some things here. I am going to pull in some more butterflies. This is a die cut. Now I am going to trim off the outside edge of the white just so it matches the other butterflies. And I didn't notice right there when I went to shake my pink spray. Did you see that it splattered pink on top of my photo? I did not even see that happen until the next day. Yeah, because I had to do this in two different days. So I let it sit overnight and then... I didn't notice until the next day that I had pink splatters on top of my photo and on top of the Good Life pink circle. So yeah, it's on there. I also did some stitching and some gold thread across the word birthday and a little bit on the gold um, scalloped washi tape. And then I fussy cut out a couple more flowers from the, uh, the die cut pack. I trimmed off the white edges and stuck them to the upper left corner. So yeah, sometimes, you know, I could have reprinted the photo after I noticed it, but I thought it didn't get on her face. It's just a couple of pink splatters. You know, it's okay. It's, I don't feel like it ruined the photo, but pay attention when you're shaking your sprays, even if they're closed, because they could have a little leak around the lid or something, and you never know. You think I would learn, but oh well, stuff happens. You move on, right? Anyway, I'm almost finished here. I'm going to add some lines and then come in with my black Sharpie and add my journaling. I do add the date and I think that it's going to wrap it up. Here comes the final layout. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was fun to make. I know it's not your typical birthday layout, but my girls, you know, she's doing what she loves on this day and so I'm calling it a birthday layout. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about anything that I used. Make sure you check out hipkitclub.net to see all the kits. Um, this is my third layout using the March kits, and so I'll probably be using them again next week because I still have a ton of stuff left. But I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.